Welcome back to Closet in Mass Hill. And some days what I notice I got I got space and I can upload but anyway. I'm gonna go get right to the point. Like I said, welcome guys, welcome guys to Closet in Mass Hill. Yes, I'm thicker than the snicker. Yes, I know I'm to be hated. I'm about to go to work. I'm about to get this fucking paper. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes I think I'm a rapper. But anyway, this is what I want to tell you guys. You know, I feel like somebody hurt me so bad, or so many people hurt me so bad, I can't even play a card. Now, that's when you know somebody hurt you. But I know some other people out there that have been hurt like this too. Especially if you say you've been game stoned. Especially if you say you've been ostracized by Eastern Stars and Masons with some old grimy ass family members that done got themselves in this occult and didn't know what the fuck they was getting their immature, ungodly ass to in and, and participating in. And you became a victim. Okay, so we, not a victim, but you became a, a product of what has been given to you. At the end of the day, I want y'all to keep going because guess what? You're not that. What you are is a child of God. And that's when you get, that's the beauty of that bad situation. That's one of the many beauties. You get to see how much of a beautiful person you become, the butterfly that you are. You know what I'm saying? What you add to the world without nobody else can see and without nobody else telling you how to live and how to do it, how to put your makeup on, how to put your clothes on, how to wear your clothes. Well, if you got the wear earrings to look good, earrings don't make me look good. I am the beauty. Earrings may make, 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 make you look good. You feel me? You know, no disrespect. And I ain't never scared just because you heard me stuttering because I know they page watching. But it's okay because I want them to come on here because I want them to learn. Because I want them to change their behavior. They know who I'm talking to. At the end of the day, guys, when you, uh, oh, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video too. We need to get this in the algorithm and we need to get these videos out to people that I'm really And pretty much they ain't by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we are living proof that, you know, you can get through anything. You know what I'm saying? I have absolutely nobody, but I have had so many people come up and help me and just extend their hands. Maybe not all the time the way that I would like it to be, but it's there. It happens. You know, God makes sure that it happens. You know, and at the end of the day, you know, great things only happen. You know, um, I'm very nervous. I'm very upset. I'm very hurt. I'm hurt by my family, friends, children, all that right there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still standing. And I'm still going to do what I got to do. That's what I'm here to tell you guys. You ain't got to go out, rob, steal, and kill. If you got a job, keep going to your job. If you're in a situation that's so grave, but well, you ain't even got nowhere to be. You know what I'm saying? That's what my spirit saying. If you ain't got nowhere to be, you got a job that next day, and you still ain't got nowhere to go that night, go to work that day, because that's where your blessing may be. You know what I'm saying? Not even that your blessing may be there. It's just that that's a blessing. God blesses a man who has their own. It's an old lady that I love, but she betrayed me. You know what I'm saying? And But she taught me that. You know what I'm saying? God blesses a child who has their own. I'm going to tell you something. I've been there, done that. One of the sugar daddy had sugar daddy had several of them. Lived off my boyfriend, made a boy man take care of me. And guess what? I got just what I was asking for. All the energy and the debris that came along with that. But when I learned my lesson, I learned that if a Bible, the Bible say, if a, he meant just what he said, if a man don't work, he don't eat. You got to go to work. You got to eat. You got to keep your head held. How come there's no reason for you to hold that motherfucker down? no reason for you to especially if you was made in god's image excuse me for cursing i'm sorry but i just want to let you guys know be courage i don't care if you work at um anywhere somebody making you feel some type of way i know how i feel because you know at the end of the day i'm not boasting but everybody would say that okay i'm beautiful nobody would really call me ugly if they did that's their opinion but i never really had that happen let me just say that it's been my experience so you know when you are beautiful beyonce you know um who else I think? Angelina Jolie. It's like, you be like, what all the hype about? What is all the hype about? Like, I feel like I'm pretty. Yeah, okay. But like, all the shit that come along with it, it's like a blessing and a curse. You would say, well, damn, why you so fine, mama? You ain't got no man. Because, bitch, it's easy to find a motherfucking man. I can find anybody I want. I can have you. But at the end of the day, are you right for me? No, that's why I don't have a man. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I'm saying respect that. Don't go to cussing me out and disrespecting me because I'm just letting you know what it is. And so what if I say it with a little hump? I may be mad about the situation of that. That's been the reality. Can you fault me? But anyway, um, so I'm moving right along, you know, and not just that. You got sometimes you got family members that be out there that backstab you, that, you know, you lose your kids, you get on drugs, you drink, you have alcohol issues, you got scratch issues, sex issues, anything that's so toxic that it's speaking volumes that keep you away from your kids. Although I never really had that issue, you know what I'm saying? But a bitch imposed that shit upon my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, you fight for your kids in court. I'm just trying to tell you to keep going because that's just like literally the message that God has given me to give you guys. Um, keep going, no matter what it is, because God ain't gonna put nothing on you that you can't bear. When I was going through my situation with my son and I was fighting to get my son, I was walking from Bradenton, Florida to Ellington. And if anybody know about that, you can look it up on the map. Those are some miles. I was crossing bridges. 
riding bikes, getting fit, looking at it in every positive aspect that I can look at in order to change my situation around. It's called manifesting, you know, at the end of the day. And I was just giving that message to give to you guys, even on the long way, I got comfort from God. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen a, me and my daughter both, we seen a bird standing on top of water. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. I'm not so perfect, but I feel like we as humans, we start judging each other and feeling like I just cussed a few minutes ago. So how could she be in the spirit a few seconds ago? But see, that's just how God works. He said his ways are not your ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. If he say he, if I ask him for forgiveness, even if I didn't, he loved me so much, he forgive me. He throws all that sin in the sea of forgiveness for everybody be trying to play God's role. And we try to play God's role, I mean, things get mixed up. And then on top of that, people like to operate out of ego. Operating out of ego ain't never hurt, helped, uh, ain't not, never helped nobody. All they did was hurt. You know, I went and paid for a hotel for almost like a long ass time. The lady was so fucking rude to me, but I still stayed positive. But how do you think I felt? Like, they left a, a, a bruise on my heart. I felt, like I, felt, I felt like I wanted to tell her how I felt, but I had to get back in my space. And I'm like, you know what? God didn't make me to be that way. When I was doing that type of shit, I was not getting any kind of good results. I wasn't getting any good results. But when I humbled myself and I allowed God to just, you know, heal me from the inside, I, I had to go through like trial and error. I had to go through dealing with the dark night of the soul or dealing with the skeletons in my closet. You know, I, I feel like I used to have a little, a lot of addictions. I just don't want to you know, and it ain't got to be necessarily a drug addiction because you can have an addiction to food. I do have an addiction to cake. I love cake. And now that was imposed upon me by generational teachings. So, you know, I had to learn to deny myself. But just like Leandra Johnson said, she said, when your flesh try to take the best of you, you got to say, I rebuke you and I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And this is why when I teach the closest person that I love, you know, and that's my daughter, you know, and I'm so, I'm, you know, and at this, at, at this point, you know, I just really would like for everybody to get it. You know, it be times in your life where shit just seem to hit you. You could be driving, getting an accident. The, the um, insurance place ain't working correctly. You know, you, you know, the car ain't rented right at the right time. You getting out, you getting out of that seven o'clock, and it done close. The business closed at five, but somebody's still working with you. Praise God, anyhow. Don't allow the devil and things to project upon you. And when you do, that's why I'm saying, don't allow. When you do notice that happening, learn to address the issue. You know, you have to take your power back. You have to take your energy back. Call it all back. I call all my energy back from this and this and that, and I transmute it into positive energy. That's the only thing that you got to do. And when you do that, you will start to feel a little invigorated, empowered. Even physically, I can feel it when I do it. Sometimes I feel like, you know, when I call my power back to somebody, somebody probably robbed me so much of my energy, I hadn't even known how much I was depleted. But at the end of the day, when I found out how much I was depleted, when I took those proper actions to take care of the soul and the spirit, remember guys, I told you we we're taught to take care of the body, not the mind, the soul, I mean the soul and the spirit. I'm here to teach you right now. This is one of those teachings. You know what I'm saying? You sit there and you just be like, you know, hey, I call back all my energy. I call back all my power from all of you ever. You know what I'm saying? And I transmute it into positive energy. And that's the only way to really be, you know, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? To keep your head going forward. Sometimes we look to the right, sometimes we look to the left. But at the end of the day, keep your head back toward. That's why God sent Jesus, I believe, to die on the cross. Well, that's a fictitious story or not. The story about Jesus is so real that it applies to so many situations that is pretty much. I'm just going to move down here. I didn't really want to go here because there's some dude sitting right here. And I really didn't want to be all in his face. But I don't want to be in the people's face that come through that either. But, you know. Anyway, I'm going to put my shades on because he's to the right of me inside this thing and I can't focus. So, I love you guys. But, um, yeah, you just got to put your foot, you put your foot forward and God, Jesus will take the left foot. You know what I'm saying? Like, today, you know, like, God will always continue to test you guys. I was tested again today, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the back, I'm in the situation. I could go out and be a whore and be a slut, but I know I'm made in God's image. I'm a golden, I'm love, I'm light. That's not me, that's low vibing. You know what I'm saying? People ride past me, the devil, just being nasty, like duplicating what he was doing in the passion of Christ. You know, but I'm just staying strong and it's a mental thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like I tell the people, well, you know, I have to go do a lot of business that frequently. You know, it, I have to get mentally ready for this. I have to get, you know what I'm saying? My mind set focused upon what I'm about to do you know what I'm saying so at the end of the day guys you know I just came on here to pretty much encourage whoever just needed the day if you just had a real screwed up day it's just hot outside cold outside 
just allergies ain't right, things ain't going right. Look at the good in something. That's the only thing you're gonna be able to hold on to in order for you to win the situation. I promise you. Listen to my voice, my love. You have to find something good in the situation. I am living, I'm a living testimony. I've had so many tower moments all at one time, and I mean humongous ones. But he said many are called if you are chosen. So if you can't think like Leandra Johnson said, she said, you want to think of one thing. You want to think of one thing and say, Jesus. You know, you got to think of one thing that God woke you up this morning. You got to be thankful for that. You know, God set you on your way. You He allowed you to use your limbs, you and your cognitive mind. You know what I'm saying? You can use your fingers, you can itch, you can scratch. You know, we take a lot of things for granted. You know, and they start with, like they say, giving a gratitude list. You know what I'm saying? Just showing God, Allah, John, whoever you believe in, Lord Krishna, Ganesh, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, you know what I'm saying? That's of a higher power. You know what I'm saying? Buddha, you know what I'm saying? The sun, the stars, everybody say it's wrong. I don't give a damn what you believe in, long as it's got you functioning on a high vibration. Because you know what? Everybody get information in a different way, in a different manner. Just like it says that when we learn um, educational wise, it says some people learn kinesthetically, some people learn visually, some people learn audio, you know what I'm saying, etc. You know what I'm saying? So how fair is it not to say that God, that he said it himself that he's all things. So how dare we put ourselves again in a position where we put our feet in our mouths and we tear somebody else down and we just, you know, prevent them from having the faith that they need to move forward. I would like for you guys to like, share, and subscribe this video. Please stop. I'm asking you guys because y'all know why people come on here. And it's real weird to have 72 people and only five likes. So you mean to tell me everybody is like 60 something people liking and watching, 50 something people liking and watching my videos? And you, I mean, watching my videos and not liking it? So are you guys like really stalkers, supporters? Like really, what are you? Because I'm going through a lot of stuff in my life because I have to leave this channel and start another one where people will start responding. And I, I don't like to be so direct, but I do like to be direct because basically I'm just getting straight to the point and I'm very humble about the situation. But I do need you guys to understand, I need y'all to hit that like button at the end of the day. Because the information that I'm giving you is life, is, is you don't have to go to a psychiatrist and get it. Y'all have paid them $1,700 to get what you're getting from me. And I'm sharing it with you and all I ask you to do is hit that like button. So we can be an equal exchange of energy. And plus if you want more from me, this actually helps you know, empower all of us that are allies in the same, you know, um, mindset to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And not just educate ourselves with other people. If, if you're scared, say you're scared, world. If you don't want to be the yin to the yang, and you don't want to be the yang to the yin, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Am I just like, you know, really beating a dead horse? Because at this point, I'm feeling some, I've seen I got like five likes, and I'm very, very, very appreciative of that because I wasn't getting any likes. You guys were just watching. So they let me know that somebody is hearing what I'm saying. Anyway, moving right along. For those of you that are out there in relationships and you live in two lives or you want to talk to one person and you know you got somebody at home because your eyes bigger than, you know what I'm saying, what your life can handle. If you ain't, you know, that ain't your culture and you ain't got the funds to do that and you can't fix that. Don't go messing up everybody's lives and have the people fight for you so you can see who, who, who love you the best and who love you the most. No, that's wrong. That's causing a disturbance in, in the cosmetic, you know what I'm saying, continuance of positivity, of being, of having peace, letting the yoke be easy. You know what I'm saying? Because I had people try to talk to me several times and then they got a whole woman at home with kids, established. Why do that? You know what I'm saying? You ain't even giving me, so selfish, you ain't giving me a choice to say I want to be tough alone. I can't even tell us to get any smarter than what we are. Not saying, because I don't want to tell nobody. I want to tell people just stay on to keep your head on the swivel. Because people change up their strategic attacks towards people who put down their guards. And that's just so wrong and I just don't understand. Because it used to be an epidemic of people, you know, domestic violence or, you know, or, you know, shit going on. But now it's like even kind people get hurt. And I mean, that's just the wrong thing too because you're bruising the poor of things. If the outer exterior still need to be trimmed on the tree, I mean, the core is what's going to make that happen. When you're an alchemist, I don't think you just got to be a woman to be an alchemist. I think you could be anybody could be an alchemist. I'm that. Somebody tried to tell me reading my tarot cards was wrong. But yet still, when they want to describe something so philosophical, oh, the Bible gets switched up so they can, you know, have the Bible accommodate them. No, it's not working that way. 
If it's working for one, it's gonna work for all of them. And it just so happened, I believe the same thing in my situation with my tarot cards. Who's to say a man didn't write that because he was afraid that because I can read tarot and because I can see into their life and my third eye is open, my pineal gland is open and I opened it myself. And yes, I do know how to do that. Um, Y'all can contact me at LondonApple779 at yahoo.com. And you're gonna have to cash at me $1,500. Yes, it's 15 and it's not gonna change no time soon. It's probably gonna go up in the near future. So catch it while it's hot. You know, I can't open up your pineal gland. I also opened up my daughter. She can attest to that. You know, um, I am closeted mass healer for a reason. My name means something. You know, and at the end of the day, you know, I don't have dudes try to go on back. In retrospect, I don't have dudes try to talk to me. And then they got a whole family at home. And then they put me in a situation. And because, and you know, another type of people you got to really consider. Are you an adult that is, you know, uh, responsible to even have sex? Because you couldn't even tell me that you had a person. Let alone if you had a disease, you probably blame it on me. That's the type of stuff that I look at. I look, God said, don't judge a man, but judge a man by his what? Fruits. That y'all ain't know that. She said, don't judge a man, but judge a man by his fruit. And at the end of the day, that's what I do. Because God don't want me to be, a, to be a fool. Those are tools that I have collected and put under my belt in order to move forward effectively. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep thinking I'm going to be your welcome, man. You can't keep thinking because I'm nice that I don't, you know what I'm saying, get not spoiled, but like... You know, it's like spoiled milk. It's like, you know, you got something good for the body and you just want to, you know what I'm saying, spoil it. Don't take care of it, neglect it. Do what you want to do with it, sit it out. You know what I'm saying? Hurt it. But at the end of the day, what I can say, God always bless me. And that's what I want to tell you guys. Stay in curse because I love you. You ain't got to go get on the phone and call nobody and tell nobody what's going on in your life. Learn to keep things to yourself. I had to learn that. Even keeping my daughter out of my business and that was the closest person to me. The closest person. But God said, no, he said, even that right there, you got to pipe that down too and put me first. So, you know, anyway, guys, I got some things to do. I just wanted to drop that for y'all because I love you guys and I want everybody to, you know, succeed. And I happen to know if I'm going through this, it's got to be a billion other people going through it because God showed me a few times in the last month, night after night, that the same thing that I feel like I'm being ostracized for is other people going through it. So I just wanted you guys to know that, you know, you're never alone. You may not be able to find nobody in your immediate circle going through there, but know that that means that you're special. Know that that means that, you know, you're, you got, you, you're different. And it's okay. And it's okay to be that different. You know what I'm saying? In that kind of way, because many are called if you are chosen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that word really means. I'm, just, I'm like, no, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means to somebody out there because I've said it so many times. And I really felt like somebody really needed to hear that, you know. Um, if God gave you that, if you are in school with your third eye and you got gifts and it's kind of like a sixth sense, use your shit. You don't need your mom or your daddy. Once you recognize your sixth sense, you don't need your mom or your daddy to tell you how to use that. That's when you got to get personal with God. That's when it's time for you to put on your big girl panties or your big boy boxes. I tell you no lie. That's when it's time for you to do that. And address the issue as is. That's what makes you an adult. Just going out doing everything that you're big enough to do. That doesn't make you an adult. That doesn't make you strong. That doesn't make you mighty. That doesn't give you power. That doesn't make you a child of, you know, peace. You know what I'm saying? And I love you guys. And I hope what I had to say touch somebody. You know what I'm saying? I would like you guys, like, once again to um, hit that share button and that like button. And just put it on your social media so just when people browsing through they can get them a word you know what i'm saying something that's like words of encouragement just this vibration that i'm carrying is so positive and so innocent and so light so full of love and so full of intention of doing the right thing and healing the world i be about to cry every time i'm saying it but i'm like out in public so i can't i'm already highly emotional but um that puts me in the space of saying you know or not saying, but exuding the energy of, you know, I love you guys and showing you guys as much as I can, you know, virtually, because I really genuinely care about the world. As you can see, I haven't dropped this napkin yet because I'm gonna put it in the garbage. I'm like big on littering and stuff, you know, like all of that because mother nature counts. Whether it's, it's an entity or something that we've created fictitiously as humans to even operate in a positive energy, I still feel like that's love and light. I still feel like that's beautiful. I still 
still feel like God respects that because it's seeking him diligently in a way that you have created a relationship with him. And that's one of the many ways that you create a relationship with Allah, the Most High, God, Jah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. I'm saying whoever you decide to call the Most High, you know, that's what he wants, just peace. I mean, for the president, for the, for the general, whatever, I don't know, because I don't vote. All of you guys, peace. You know what I'm saying? Peace be still because this all this is so senseless. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should ever feel like they have to change who they are because they don't have a group of people to agree with them. You gotta stand in your power. That's when you become an alchemist. That's when you become your leader in what you believe in and you just know that there's other people out there that can relate to you. You know, and that's what it's about. Co-creating, creating, and the other one but somebody else had said it one day um a few months ago as if it had already been said but if somebody took that it's okay because there'd be plenty more things that i'm gonna come up across that you won't be able to take you know and it's all on my videos what you're gonna do erase my videos so the timing that you said it and the timing that i said it probably won't correspond so guys yeah pray for the peace of me and my family and i with good 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 prayers Nobody can come on here like literally with nothing bad. So I don't even know why I question my 82 subscribers. My apologies. Again, I fall short. Y'all fall short, guys. But I just want y'all to show me some love. You know, by hitting that like button. I'm trying to make this my job, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this what I do and come on here and let y'all know what it's about. I'm trying to put the phone right here everywhere I go. Y'all can hear it, see it, and understand it. Because I walk it like I talk it. Walk, walk it like I talk it. Walk, walk it. I walk it like I talk it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't able to be who we are as individuals. But we're not able to be who they are. But we are able to co-create and come together and make something magnificent. You know? It doesn't have to be something negative with the word magnificent. It is something positive anyway, guys. So, I love you. I just probably be wanting to go because I feel like y'all like my friends. Because I can't even have friends. I'm too holy. I know that sounds a little arrogant, but that's just the way I feel. I can't even have friends because I'm too holy. You know what I'm saying? People switch up too much for me. And I understand that nothing, everybody changes. Moment after moment after moment, we all change. We adjust to the situation. It doesn't make you schizophrenic, expelidocious. So don't allow people to speak things into your life. You rebuke that right then. And that's when you know right then that you got to stand up and put on that breastplate of righteousness and that shield of faith. Wherewith you should be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. Because when I was pregnant with my son, my daughter, my mama jumped on me. I had to let her know no weapon formed against me or my children shall prosper. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, guys, I appreciate you guys for coming out and supporting me. You know, just looking out for me. Don't forget to share this, this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And don't, don't forget to let it go in the algorithm on your Facebook, your Twitter your TikTok and just screenshot different parts if you have to because I know I said something in here for somebody but anybody that's attracted to this channel is going to be touched I love you guys me and love you a long time never give up guys God is so good and if God is good and you was made in his image then you understand that no one performed against you would never ever prosper you got to believe that you don't need another human being to be standing right there to let you know that but if you do, here I go. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes this is as close as you get. Sometimes you need nobody to get, that, get no more closer to you to hurt you no more. And that'd be God's protection. That'd be their rejection. Me, I love you long time.